Tilly Tink Tink here with another Timeshare Talk and today we're going to be talking about say no to Timeshare presentations. You know, a lot of Timeshare companies offer really great vacation deals, but in order to get those prices, you are required to attend a Timeshare tour. And this video will hopefully help you to be able to not only say no, but to have resources that will guide you along that process. And I'm also going to give you my example, uh, my story. I talk more about um, what goes on in the timeshare, uh, what happened to me with my timeshare, and the book, Make Your Vacations, Make You Money. But I'm going to talk about that just a little bit later. But... Um, I mean, they had all kind of food, drinks for the kids, balloons. There was very loud music playing. There were people everywhere. It was like a party in the middle of the day. And um, and then all of a sudden, I heard a loud uh, voice come over the speaker. I couldn't really tell what the announcer was saying at first. And then um, there was a family sitting next to our table. And they jumped up and everybody began cheering and clapping. I mean, it was so loud that um, my little nugget got scared. And he was over playing around at another table where he shouldn't have been. And he ran over and grabbed Ronnie's leg. I mean, that's just like how loud it was. I couldn't really make out what was going on. And then um, my salesperson uh, kind of guided us very quickly through all of the people to some golf carts. Um, I mean, there were people just everywhere moving in and out. And um, so we got in the golf cart and he drove us around the whole resort and he pointed out all this stuff that we had, um, you know, not seen at the resort. And it really was beautiful. Um, the owners were definitely paying their maintenance fees and he actually told us then that that was what the HOA fees were for but I mean the landscape was beautiful it was beautifully decorated um, and so once we finished that we came back to that party again with all the people and um, you know the salesperson gave us drinks and food and the kids had balloons um, they even had someone to help us watch the kids while we negotiated and um, throughout our whole meeting like people would jump up and holler and clap and it didn't take me long to realize that was what they did when someone basically signed their life away <laughs> so to speak um, but because of my negotiating back and forth um, you know I was able to get a better deal and I finally got to stand up and clap for myself um, I still have all the papers that they wrote on and everything I don't know if I can even show those I don't think legally I can show what all they wrote on the paper um, but after we basically signed our life away they took us to another small office um, where a little man sat behind a desk and he had us sign a bunch of documents basically um, where we stated that we fully understood the timeshare and how it worked. Now, I'm going to be honest, at that time, no, I did not. Um, but when you go on one of these tours, that is what you can basically expect. And so I have written tons of information. These are just a few of the articles in the Tilly Tink Tink blog. Um, that discusses all about timeshares, how to help people who already own a timeshare, understand it, learn how it works, um, use it to make money, um, and to just use it what it was, how it was meant for. Um, uh, some of the blog articles are, of course, here's the one inside a timeshare tour. That is the blog article that goes along with this um, Tilly Tink Tink talk here on YouTube. You can find the blog on um, tillytinktink.com. And there are tons of articles to um, help you out with the timeshare tour. 
You also have access in that blog to free resources for timeshare owners. And if you are planning on going on one of these vacations and you're not a timeshare owner, but you want to go on one of those discounted vacations, I've got some great free resources for you in that blog. Questions to ask at a timeshare tour, the timeshare vocabulary words. These are very important because you need to know what it is that they're saying to you and you need to be able to have a conversation in order to shut it down quickly and say no. Um, there are other resources. Of course, I have a checklist here for you. Um, there are downloads that are available for you in that blog. Another great resource is the book that I wrote, Make Your Vacations, Make You Money. And these are things that every timeshare owner should know. If you already own a timeshare, this book is written for you. It is full of free resources, advice, everything that a timeshare owner should know is in that book. It's available at tillytinktink.com as well. The link is also in the description where you can get right to it as well as the blog. Also, every Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, I go live on Facebook. I'm also available on other social media outlets, um, Pinterest, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, and I'm all um, under the username of Tilly Tink Tink. So thank you guys. I wish you the best of luck in your timeshare and vacation ownership, and I hope that you enjoy your vacation package that you um, are being discounted, and I hope that these resources will allow you to be able to say no to your timeshare presentation if that is in fact what you are wanting to do.